Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have this look for you today that I posted on my Instagram last year around this time. Um, I know that seems a little weird posting a video on a look that I did last year, but the trends haven't changed since last fall to this fall, so I figured why not put it up. I had a lot of requests for that look, so I just thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and get up a video that you all wanted to see and also to add to my fall look on my channel. And I'll post a picture right here to let you know what look it is, to, um, just to refresh your memory on it. And yeah, this is just a really warm brown, red brown eye with a wine color berry looking lip. I hope y'all enjoy this video and if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start with my foundation first. I'm going to be starting off with my Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. This is my Holy Girl primer it is amazing the texture of it is so smooth and it just makes my skin feel amazing so I'm just going to apply it out with my fingers for foundation I'm using my Tarte Amazonian clay foundation that is super dirty the Tarte packaging is not the greatest when you're trying to keep it clean looking but I am in the color light medium honey and I'm applying it with my IT Cosmetics flat top kabuki brush and then just kind of Stipple it into my skin at first to distribute the product and then I will start buffing it into my skin. Now before I apply any more face makeup, I'm going to do my brows. I'm just going to skip through this real fast, but I will link my brow video down below. Okay, now that my brows are done, I'm going to sculpt them out. It's going to take the lightest yellowish shade right here. Sculpting out your brows will make them look so much more clean and crisp, and they will make them just look all around better in case you get any product above or under your brows. I'm just going to set my foundation with uh, my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in NW35. Also, I am going for a pretty full coverage um, look today. so And this is the perfect powder to do a full coverage foundation. A lot of people, uh, including myself, sometimes I do... I just wear the Studio Fix Powder as my foundation on days that I don't want just a ton of makeup on my face. So I don't have my MAC Pro Long Wear with me, so I am using my Coastal Sense Camouflage Palette again, and I am using the same shade that I used to carve out my brows, which is the top shade, and it is the uh, yellow shade. So I'm just going to be applying this with my fingers first in um, the upside down triangle that you all have seen me do many times. Doing it this way will just help brighten your under eye area up more rather than doing it as a half moon shape just under your eye, the uh, bags of your eye. This dragging it down the side of your nose and upwards is just going to get that lifted appearance and it's just going to make your uh, whole under eye area really bright. I'm just going to blend this out with the F86 Tapered Kabuki from Sigma. This is my tried and true concealer brush. I definitely recommend y'all check it out if you're looking for a good concealer brush. It's not meant for concealer, it's actually like a foundation brush or to put cream products on with, but it just blends out your concealer so good and it just picks up a little bit of the product. So if you have a, too much on your skin, this will help blend it and pick it up a lot better so you don't have that cakey under eye area. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can get started on the eyes. So out of my Z palette, I'm going to be starting off highlighting my brow and I'm going to be using MAC Nylon, which is here. This is a very, very shimmery yellow tone highlight. It's beautiful. It, if you have anywhere close to my skin tone, olive skin tone or a bit more warm skin tone, this will be the perfect brow highlight for you. I'm just going to highlight the brow. As you can see, it's very pigmented. And then we're going to use a pencil brush and then pop that in the inner corner as well. So 
So now on the Sigma E35 tapered blending brush, it looks like this. I'm going to take the color Peach Smoothie as our transition shade. This is for Makeup Geek. It's right here. And it's just going to help all of our darker shades blend out. Just going to blend that back and forth. On a Sigma E25, this is just their blending brush. This is very close if you have the MAC 217. This is identical. So now we're going to be taking Max Saddle. This is a shape right here. So we're just going to put this really not all over the crease like we did Peach Smoothie. We're just going to focus this just on the actual crease. Bring it down on the, of the outer third of the lower lash line and connect it with where we flaked it down. This is really just going to help smoke it out really good on the lower lash line. If you are one of those people that, that, that doesn't like to bring your shadow as far as this, you can just take a pencil brush or a smaller brush and just focus it actual on the lash line. But I love a smoked out lower lash line. It's one of my favorite things to do when it comes to my makeup. So I'm going to bring that pretty far down. Okay, so your eyes should look something like this now. We're going to go in with pretty much the star of the show when it comes to the eye look, and that is Max Brown Script. This is a very warm, reddish, brick tone brown. We're going to take this on. This is an e.l.f. contour brush, but it's just a uh, pencil brush. We're going to take that, and we are going to put this directly in the crease in the outer V. Okay, now we're going to go back on the same brush we did saddle with and we're going to blend that out because there's going to be a harsh line kind of where we divided it right there. So just go back and just blend everything out. If you hear like somebody hammering something, it's my boyfriend outside. So, sorry. It's like working on some project with palettes. Typical boy stuff. It looks crazy right now, but I promise in the end it's going to look really good. Okay, so I'm going to take the same um, E35 taper blending brush from Sigma, and I'm just going to blend out everything. This just has a little bit of peach smoothie on it, not much at all. It's just what was left over. So I'm just going to take a matte white eyeshadow. It's right here. It's from Morphe. I think it's number 40, yeah. And I'm just going to take my E55 shader brush from Sigma and we're going to pop that um, everywhere we didn't put the uh, orange shadows. I'm going to curl my lashes first. For eyeliner, I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. I'm going to take my Sigma Flat Definer brush. This is the E15. And I'm going to take Mocha by Makeup Geek. It's just a chocolate brown shade. And I'm just going to press this in to the lower lash line. And I'm taking that same pencil brush that we put brown script on with and I'm just going to blend that out. a few cuts of mascara, but first I'm going to use the Lancome Seals Booster. This is just a, a mascara primer. It's just a white mascara. I'm sure you've all seen plenty 
um, mascaras like this and it really people ask if it is worth it or if it really works yes it really works it makes your eyelashes so much more full and longer and it helps your mascara not to flake off either if you have that problem and for mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess so I've been loving this mascara recently so. Okay, so I have applied my lashes. They are from Ardell. They are the 105S lashes. And now I'm just, uh, I've already put some bronzer on, but I'm going to go in and contour with my It Cosmetics Sculpted Face Palette. And I'm just going to use the these two kind of grayish colors right here. And I put it in my cheekbone. The sides of my forehead and my temples. Down the sides of my nose. On my jawline, so everything blends. Like I said, you want to blend everything down on your neck so it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Blush, I'm going to use my all time favorite. It's from Milani and it's the Rose Diora. It's just a gold coral blush. And I've found lately that I like using my blushes with a duo fiber brush. This is from Sigma. This is the F15. It just goes on more of like an airbrush look and it doesn't cake the product on. One of the oldest brushes I have, this is a MAC 107. It's just a large duo fiber brush. And I'm going to go out and blend everything. My contour, my blush. Just so there are no harsh lines as you know that I can't stand. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Anastasia's tinted brow gel and caramel and I'm just going to comb that through my brows to set it. I'm going to go in with MAC Soft and Gentle. This is my favorite highlight and I'm just going to take this on a tapered face brush, the F25 from Sigma. I'm going to put that on top of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose to make it look more straight. On my cupid's bow. I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's D-Slick Setting Spray and I'm pretty much going to shower myself with it. And now for the lips, I'm going to be using Estee Lauder's Lip Pencil in Wineberry. And I'm also going to be using a purple eyeshadow to make the outer corners give that purple bluish look to it like in the picture. Um, I don't have the purple lipstick that I used when I took that picture so I'm just going to improvise and use the purple shadow. But before I do that, I'm going to apply my MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. This is just going to keep from the lip pencil from feathering and to bleeding out onto your skin. Okay, and now for the purple shadow, I'm just going to be using um, one of the sections from my BH palette. And I'm going to be using the darkest purple shade right here. I'm just going to put some on my finger and just apply it with my finger because I don't have my lip brush with me. And that is the final look. I'll zoom in so you can see the eyes. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video, which will be the zombie Barbie uh, tutorial that I posted a picture on last week. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. If you have any requests for Halloween videos that you want to see, any Halloween looks, it's my favorite thing to do and I would love to experiment with new looks. So if you have anything, please leave them down in the comments below and I promise I will get them up as soon as I can. And also, um, if you would like to me, if you would like for me to recreate any celebrity, it's the kind of a thing that I want to start doing just because I think it's fun recreating other people's looks or other people in a makeup aspect, but just leave those down below for me too.